Perpetual light will shine on your saints, O Lord, and life without end forever. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for spreading, for the spreading of your church crowned St. Peter Chanel with martyrdom, grant that in these days of Paschal joy we may celebrate the mysteries of Christ's death and resurrection as to bear worthy witness to newness of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covering their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. 
I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord, Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we get two for one today. Um, we have, of course, the martyrdom of St. Peter Chanel, whose memory we celebrate. Uh, who's mentioned in the opening prayer of today's Mass, but we also have this beautiful passage from the Acts of the Apostles, which gives us the details as to the martyrdom of the proto-martyr, St. Stephen, the first martyr of the Church, the first to follow in our Lord's very own footsteps. Um, and I just can't help but uh, <clears throat> imagine all the influence that the martyrs had on the life of Peter Chanel himself. He was born in 1803, so not that long ago. And Peter Chanel grew up hearing the stories of all the mar uh, missionaries and martyrs who came to the New World. And among them, of course, would have been his own compatriots, the, uh, the French uh, Jesuit missionaries, the North American martyrs, Isaac Jogues and Jean de Brebeuf, Noël Goupil, um, L'Allemand, Noel, there were uh, several of them who had died for their faith, and there's just incredible stories. And one of the things that we notice that they, they hold in common that so beautifully happens in this passage from the Acts of the Apostles with St. Stephen is that they don't hold a grudge against those who are putting them to death. In fact, Stephen himself says, "What, well, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Even as he's being... Uh, stoned to death. It must have been such a terrible way to die. He's forgiving them. And also St. Um, uh, Peter Chanel, when he died, didn't start cursing, didn't change his mind, didn't try to run away, but peacefully and quietly died a martyr's death. Now he was, uh, he is the proto-martyr of Oceania. He was sent, sent to Futuna as a Marist. There's an order of priests devoted to our Blessed Mother Mary. Um, he desired to be a missionary, and he was sent there. Um, he was, as he was learning the language, had a very difficult time. And on the island, just recently, the king had put an end to cannibalism. So it gives you kind of an idea where they were. And, um, and the king liked the missionaries. He didn't really know about what, what their plan was. It wasn't just to learn about the culture, but to convert uh, his family. And so when they went to baptize the king's son and daughter, the king was outraged and had Peter Chanel clubbed to death. And he didn't hold it against the people. And within five years, the entire island was converted. It's always amazing to think about what the reaction of the king and even those who were stoning St. Stephen to death, what their reaction was is they're being forgiven as they're going to their very deaths. 
Um, and forgiveness is the hallmark, isn't it, of our faith. It's the heart and soul. Our Lord's brutal death on the cross reminds us of that. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. If you yourself are struggling to forgive someone, know that the grace of Jesus' resurrection is always available, especially during these days of Easter. It's great to think upon that and the grace that God desires for us to have. I know for many, forgiveness might seem unnatural, um, but it's not an option for Christians. It should be our first option in life. It should be the first go-to place. And especially family members or friends who've hurt us or betrayed us or have failed us when we needed them most. God also expects us to forgive even the most minor offenses, such as someone who snubs us or ignores us or directs a sarcastic remark against us. As we celebrate this Mass today, let's ask our Lord if there's any lacking grace to forgive someone in our lives that's necessary to put aside any anger that might be taking away our joy and energy during these days of Easter. Let us call to mind as uh, God gives us that grace. And let's ask him if that's the case every day. Lord, give me that grace to extend the same forgiveness that your son extends to us. It might be hard at first, but over time, you will begin to experience not only freedom from anger, but especially to celebrate the joy of our risen Lord. St. Peter Chanel, pray for us. Our Lord Jesus taught us to ask and we shall receive. So with confidence, let us now offer our prayers of petition. For the church, as the body of Christ in the world, may God bless her with purity and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, may God grant them in fortitude to rise above all that divides them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering religious or ethnic persecution, May God protect them from all harm and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are newly baptized, may God give them strength to live out their baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they find a place in heaven at the eternal banquet of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O God, in whom we live and move and have our very being, grant us every petition we ask for in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the name of this morning, wine brings the shrine Christ to the home, so to share it with humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to please with the sacrifice of with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all.
Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice, the conciliation, and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr St. Peter Chanel, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising to life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John Folda, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On your stay, we toll as peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, we toll as peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, Qui tolles peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi, Christ, I pray for you to me, turn on. Amen. Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Alleluia. Let us pray. <clears throat> we have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan 
and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the rumors of 